welcome back to the channel here. I'm just gonna turn that music off here. One second. Oh, there we go. And by popular demand, or I guess just one demand, one request, uh, to make a beginner's little guide to the dog. And there's tons of them out there, but since it's been requested, I will make a little beginner's guide. Now there might be a couple things in here that's not too commonly known, uh, but we're just kind of winging it here. Here's Peanut. Hello, Peanut. How are you doing? We'll just give a little shake paw. There you go. That's a good little puppy dog. So I've definitely been working with Peanut here to, to learn how things go, and and she's making out really well. Uh, but as far as beginner's guide goes, um, a lot of the stuff originally is just accessed by the one of the, any outposts where the storage is. Now, you just go to the kennel, buy your dog, name your dog. Um, hopefully you didn't miss naming your dog, because you can't rename it. And I don't think you can delete the dogs. I uh, never actually looked. Anyways, if you got a dog, good. There's six different uh, options to choose from. Um, but if you pick the dog, it will start at um, uh, level one. So let's just take a quick look at that and show you this. So you just go to your normal menu. There will be hunting dog selection down here. You'll see your nice little doggy. Here's Peanut. And uh, you'll have different. You have companion level. You have tracker level. Companion level goes up to level 30. Tracker level goes up to 15. So I've almost max tracker here. And uh, companion level's getting there. Now companion level levels up real fast up until about level 15, then it slows right down. Uh, the other two things you'll notice in the menu is uh, focus. This is the dog's energy, and bond is um, how it's attached to you. And I will go into that uh, actually just now because there's not too too much about this to worry about too much. Um, companion and tracker, it's just going to level up as as uh, as you play and use the dog. So I, I don't know. I wouldn't worry too much about trying to level up too fast, uh, but. This is a little important to understand because when it was re released, it wasn't too, too clear and the community's kind of been looking at it, trying to figure it out, and I've sort of figured out the main points of it. Uh, the little lightning bolts here are the energy uh, level of the dog, and that kind of governs everything, how fast the dog... Um, oh, how's that happen? What's the whistle? What's going on here? Who whistled? I don't actually know what did that. But anyways... Um, yeah, uh, this is the energy level. The lightning bolts are kind of the most important out of the two. It works together with companion level and tracker level. Um, you know, tracker is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, how fast the dog tracks and how well it does. Uh, the companion is just how well it obeys you and stays close to you. And it's just uh, the companion skills that has a factor in that as well. Um, but the lightning bolts determine with the level how well it how well it goes. The little hearts over here, the bond. Um, the only thing they really do is recharge the lightning bolts, but in the end it's not really that important, uh, just these hearts here, uh, because you got to work the dog really, really hard to lose a lightning bolt, and most people, I mean, if you, if you call an entire herd and then you let it track everything, even though it doesn't need to, you can tire out the dog, but most people aren't really probably going to do that too much, unless you're in a hurry or really into it. Um, yeah, so that's really the only thing the hearts do. Um, there is a bit of confusion on it, but um, uh, the hearts just deplete over time. It only takes a few minutes uh, for each one to go down, probably like five minutes or so. Uh, but they're only used to recharge the lightning bolts, so I wouldn't worry too much about the hearts just because the lightning bolts aren't really going to drop on you. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, so how you, uh, how you use the dog is on the PC, use the letter B by default, but on the consoles down on the D-pad, uh, you hold it down and you get the uh, uh, little menu here. Now the, the top half is kind of the easiest to go through. These are all part of like the stay command. Uh, we'll stay, they do exactly what they're saying, uh, but the outcome's all the same. It's just the dog stays where it is. Um, if you just want to lay down or sit or stay, that's just up to you. Stay is just, it's just going to stand. Um, She's kind of slow from getting up from the from the lay down to the, the stay. There she goes. Uh, the other one she's pretty quick at. I don't know why it takes a while of that. You can just whistle her to whistle her to sit. Uh, so they all, they all do the same thing. Those top three, um, and they don't really have an effect on much other than just you know your ability to make the dog look pretty for pictures or whatever. 
Uh, as far as like spooking the animal goes, uh, the spook radius on the dog is about five meters. It's I haven't fully tested that. It's not very far. But... Okay, I really don't know what's what's uh, what is making the whistle. I do not know. Maybe I got like a glitch going on. But that's really weird. That hasn't happened before. Oop! I just told him the track. Anyways, sit down there. Sit down there, peanut. I've never had that. I wonder if it's uh, some kind of bug going on or something. Just a random whistle. I don't think I'm hitting any keys. But anyways, uh, so uh, let's see. Where were we? Oh yeah, just the top menu. So these aren't uh, too too important. Uh, well, they just help you control the dog, but they they all stay the same. Just uh, you know, just where you want them. Uh, praise. Uh, let's you, um, well, I guess before that, look on the right here, you'll see the lightning bolts and hearts, so you can always check really quickly uh, what sort of level the dog is at. It'll just update real time. Uh, praise is sort of your quick way to uh, cheer the dog up uh, to try and boost the hearts. It doesn't really have much of an effect. It just has a funny little whistle. And that's how you can praise the dog at, at a distance to boost those hearts. But again, it's, it's not too important. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, heal is exactly what everyone know, uh, knows. You just heal the dog and she'll come up and walk beside you. Uh, yeah, and the way you get out of heal is pretty much you command a sit or a stay. Now, on the praise you'll notice there's a plus sign. You'll get this plus sign later on in the traits. Uh, if you choose it, if you choose howl, you can command the dog to howl at any time. It doesn't really do anything. It's uh, just for a multiplayer thing. If you howl in the multiplayer, the other dogs will howl too. That's around. Uh, but it does have one effect that a lot of people don't quite realize, and it's not too, too handy, uh, but it is something to recognize. Say you got your dog in heel, or sit or anything, and you want to get them out of it. Uh, the only way to get the dog into the idle state is to howl. So you howl, that's the only way to, it'll go switching right into idling. Uh, that's the only way really to toggle it, so howl actually has a use, uh, because idling is kind of important, uh, which I'd probably get get into later or maybe in a different video I'm not too sure but it is important to be able to toggle the dog into idling but uh, not really for the basics anyways most of the time you're just walking around the dog can idle and it will find poop and it will um, it will alert you um, if there's an animal that's out to spook that's a bit bit more advanced uh, but it's called a critical position which the dog will go into in the little uh, thing down the bottom right this is idling it'll flash uh, critical position really quick uh, but anyways, that's just something the, the dog will do uh, no matter what on it. Uh, but the main purpose of the dog, of course, is to track. Uh, that gets, it, it's, it's well, for this video, it's going to be pretty simple. Um, you just command it to track, and it'll say searching for blood. She's not going to find anything, though. Uh, but what happens is you hit an animal. If the animal runs far or doesn't run at all, it's still going to drop blood. Uh, so you can um, train it by getting it to track anything. Uh, but what that would do is uh, the dog sort is programmed to have like a 50 meter, 50 meter radius kind of radar. Uh, so you just kind of have to get near the blood and you would just hit track and then she will go to the nearest blood thing and then of course just starting to follow the blood trail. The basics of the dog, it just starts at the nearest one and then goes to, to the next youngest blood track and keeps going. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more to this than I realize sometimes, but um, maybe we'll just uh, do a little test run just to give it a little example here. So me and Peanut will go find something. Oh, Peanut and I found something. I think it's just a little dough, though. Nope, I don't want that. Oh, oh good. Maybe it's his own here. Resting zone? Uh, perfect. Alright, so just a little uh, black tail dough in a resting zone. Uh, this actually is a good opportunity to show off the critical position, actually, and then the tracking. Let's see if we can do it right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out a bow, since it's close. Now what we're going to do is there's a certain range the dog can detect the spooking at, and it's about 50 meters. Everything's about 50 meters with the dog. Uh, I haven't quite found out. It might be less. Uh, but what we're watching for... As you know what, I'm going to use a binoculars instead here. Um, oh no, I already changed my mind. See, indecisions, indecisions. Because uh, if I aim at it here, I can get the spotting info, and it's just saying calm. Now it'll go to um, nervous and atten 
initiative or something, and then alert. And oh, it's got a buddy. Who's this? Oh, there's Buck there. Level three. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna go over him. However, uh, we're still gonna see how close we can get, and we're gonna see if. Oh, he's standing up. They're all standing. Up. Oh, critical position. It fired off there now. They're gonna spook. She's leaning down, telling me that, and we're gonna take a shot because they're gonna spook real soon. And we're gonna. And he's gonna turn, and I'm gonna miss it. Uh, great. And Peanut's pushing me. Thanks a lot, Peanut. Uh, he's right there, and you're. Oh, another bark. You know what? We're still gonna take. No, we're not. Man, oh man. All right, we're gonna take the close one here. Here we go. And there we go, bucket. So uh, that should have hit a lung, unless I messed it up. But either way, we get to practice some tracking. So we will stand up here. I hope. Oh, you know, I could just rifle him, but you know what? Nope, just for the video, we're going to stay focused here. Uh, I got the need zone, and there should be blood around here somewhere. Uh, oh, there it is there. Oh, maybe it was a bad hit. All right, I don't know. I don't know. I never claim to be a good hunter. Uh, no organs hit. All right, so that'll be interesting to see where that landed. Um, I might have not been paying attention to my sight very well, but anyways. Uh, so what we do is you just gotta get close. Well, default close 50 meters to it, and she'll find it. But the closer you are, the quicker she'll pick up on it. Uh, so let's just track the go. And she's gonna just kind of flip out of control. Oh, she already found it. So she's a pretty high level. Uh, so she's almost max. So she just found it and took off. Uh, earlier, they'll take a second and then they will, uh, they'll trot much slower at the start um, down the path. What's she doing is she found that blood thing and she just, uh, that's not blood, that's poop. She just sprinted over here uh, and normally she goes to the next blood track, which is there. It stomped down. And then um, now, if you have the glow off, I turn a lot of the glow stuff off. Uh, if you need to track her without the glow on, you can just pull your little hunter mate little phone thingy. And she's there right ahead. She's barking at me. Uh, she'll bark uh, if I'm being too slow. Or if you're being too slow, uh, they'll bark at you uh, to try and tell you they're waiting for you. And then they'll also bark at you when they find it. So she's running up ahead. This could actually be a little bit of a track, uh, which is perfect. Uh, that's what she's made for. I meant to do that. A bad shot. That's exactly what I meant to do. Uh, just to demonstrate uh, uh, the tracking here. So this pretty much oh i got one more thing to show after this oh so she found it and now she's all happy there she is bark 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 and she'll point at it and look at it that way and i'm now i'm surrounded by uh by more animals we'll get them later so let's pick that up because i'm curious what in the world i did there oh spine shot that's why too high uh and it doesn't count as a uh, uh vital hit uh so that is sort of uh the intro to the dog and uh, yeah, she'll just level up tracking companion kind of all on her own. Um, the tracking experience comes as soon as they pick up a track, and that's about all that is to that. Uh, so just give them the track everything. If the if like the deer falls immediately, you can still tell the dog to track the deer. She'll just find it right away. Yeah, but she still gets the experience. So just uh, when you're starting, just get her to track absolutely everything. Um, at max level tracking, of course, you don't need to. Uh, uh, keep boosting up that tracking. So as soon as she hits 15, I don't have to worry about getting her to track, except it does actually help with the companion level. So pretty much when you're maxed up both. Um, I'm going to get stepped on here, I think. Um... Oh, I am. Here they come. Uh, hello. All right. That won't, that one won't go very far. Anyways, uh, since that happened, we'll just track that, and then I'll show you the last thing. So, that's I mean, when you first get the dog, uh, your dog's going to go much slower. Let's just see how she does here. She usually, there's lots of blood, she'll have no trouble. I don't think it went very far. But the higher level they go, they just kind of take off. Uh, but earlier, they'll just kind of trot along. So she found it, she'll look at it. I, I think this is kind of funny. She'll look at me. And then she'll turn and look at the deer. Oh, no, she's just excited and shaking her head at me. Saying, you idiot. Pick up the deer. Yeah, so there we go. Now uh, that one, well, that's a weird shot. Somehow it went between the lungs and into the liver. Anyways, I wouldn't be able to do that again. So we'll pick that one up. 
And uh, yeah, the last thing I want to show you is underneath or here uh, is the traits. Now I won't go into them here because there's a lot more to this that's actually out there on the internet for information. Um, I've looked up a lot of this. I'll have to do another video. Uh, but this is important. Every single uh, five levels of companion level, uh, you get to pick one of these. The top row is typically companion traits that help the dog be your friend and help you in various ways. The bottom is uh, the tracking kind of skills to help improve tracking. It's important to pick the right one because uh, you can't unpick it uh, once you do. But I'll try and do another video on that. Uh, other than that, I think we'll shut that down for now. So peanut, uh, good job here. Oh, oh, oh no, i got to throw in one more thing. Because uh, I went through the, the menu, but I didn't go through, uh, like when the dog's sitting or you walk up to her, you can pull down the menu and you get different things. Play, pet. If you buy treats from the store, you can give her a treat. Uh, play, shakes her hand. And that also just helps those hearts. Uh, but again, don't worry about it too much. It's just a little fun thing to do to reward them. Uh, but I forgot about that. And there's also um, the default. See, so it's just saying B. If you hit down on your D-pad, if you're on console... Uh, when you're just looking at her like this, it'll do a default um, pet, just a default thing. Also, if you're looking at blood and just hit that down on the D-pad or the or the B on the keyboard, um, she'll just automatically track that that thing. So it's just kind of like a quick command. If you're uh, away from her and not around any blood, and you hit the D-pad or the B, uh, it defaults to heal. Uh, so it's just kind of you don't have to open up the menu. It's a quick little thing. Uh, but that's, I think that's uh, pretty much covers it. So anyways, uh, video is going a little long, but thanks for watching, and I will see you later.